After uni, I had an epiphany. I was like, am I going to spend the rest of my life commuting over two hours a day to work and back? So like any rational person, I decided to think it through and calculate how many hours I've actually commuted in my life. Okay, so a standard UK school year consists of 39 whole weeks. I'd commute an hour to school and an hour back. That's two hours per day times five days in a week. Then times 39 weeks in a year gives me... 390 hours per year. Tracking back five years at high school, two years at college, three years at uni equals 10 years in total. Oh, I love timesing by 10. Makes life a lot easier. Vitaly does make one joke over and over again, and that is, like, we're living in a concrete jungle. The whole city is so artificial and the air, especially after cycling, you realise it's definitely not good for us. Hashtag pollution. So in my lifetime, I've spent 3,900 plus hours commuting. So I figure, how do you break the matrix of the city? And in doing so, improve my health. First thing that pops in my head living in the digital world is working remotely from your laptop, from your camera gear. Because in theory, imagine getting paid like Western wages but being able to choose where you work from, I can tell you, my brain starts thinking of interesting ideas other than the office space in London. And compared to anywhere else other than London, money tends to go a lot further, which would increase your effective wage. Like, for example, in London, just to survive renting a place out, you need at least 20k from your job per year. But in Thailand, 6k is more than enough. But in theory, let's say you still earn that 20k via your laptop, then that would let you lead more than just an average life. And especially since it's literally paradise, and that's exactly what I'm working towards now. And this kind of situation would really put myself in first place. So another hack towards curing my Crohn's disease, as well as just living it up. So don't forget guys to stay tuned for the ride.